Hello friends, welcome to my channel Myself Parag Jambulkar. In last video, we have seen how to generate reports. In this video, we will see how to schedule reports in Salesforce. So see, we can schedule report to run daily, weekly or monthly. An HTML version of the report can be sent by email to users in your organization. So see, HTML version of the report will be sent to email ID, right? And why we need to schedule report? So we can automate this process. We can automate generation of reports so that regularly we will get updates in terms of reports, right? So regularly to get updates, we can schedule the reports. Okay. Now see, we'll click on reports. So see, in last video, we have seen how to generate such kind of reports, right? So see, suppose we'll open summary report. So see this report already we have generated, right? Now see on left hand side we have this option run report. See here if I click on this, so we have two options run report now and schedule feature runs, right? So if you click on this run report now, so see at this time instance whatever the data is there based on that report will be generated, right? Now see if we want to schedule report, so see here we have another option. Schedule feature run. So, see, we'll click on this. Okay. Now, see, running user. So, see, here we are mentioning user, right? Now, see, every user don't have access to all the fields in object, right? So, whatever the permissions are provided to that particular user, so based on that, report will be generated, right? So, when we are scheduling report, so reports will be emailed, or reports will be scheduled, or reports will be generated, that will be based on what are the permissions are given to that particular user? Okay. Then email report to me or to some another user. So see, here we can mention. So see, public groups are users that we can mention. Now, one thing is important. See, if you plan to email the scheduled report to other users, ensure it is in public folder that is shared with all the intended recipients. So see, if we want to schedule reports for other email IDs, then we have to ensure that reports are kept in public folder. See, reports should be kept in public folder so that other email IDs can access it. Okay. So, see. So, suppose here we are mentioning to me. Okay. Then here we can set up frequency daily, weekly, monthly. Right. And also here we can set every weekday, every day. From which date it should get started and what should be the end date. So that we can mention here. Also, we can mention start time. So here we can mention frequency of our report. Then here we have two options. Save report modifications with this schedule and discard report modification. Now, what is the meaning of this? See, it means before scheduling this report, whatever the modifications we have done, that will be saved and that modified report will be scheduled. And second is discard report modifications. So whatever the modification that we have done, that will get discarded. Okay, so we'll choose first option. Now see, save report schedule. Okay, so we'll click on this. Okay, so see, we have scheduled our report. Now see, we'll click on setup. And here, here we can check. Schedule jobs. Schedule job. We'll click on this. So here you can see all the tasks that we have scheduled. So see, just now we have scheduled this, right? We'll click on this. And here you can find the report. Right, so this report we have scheduled, and that you can find here. And if you want, we can delete this. Here we have option to delete this scheduled job. So in this way, we can schedule report in Salesforce. So friends, I hope you like this video. If is, then click on like, subscribe to the channel, and don't forget to press bell icon so that you will get notification of my next video. So stay connected. Thank you.